Well, a special site for aviation fans in Wichita, a gathering of World War II planes, including the chance to ride in a B-17 Texas Raider. Cakes Leon Purvis joins us live from Wichita's Eisenhower Airport with more on all the fun. Leon? Yeah, Deb, many people got to ride on the historic B-17 plane today. It was delayed due to weather conditions, but one of the co-pilots tell me riding in the plane is actually a bucket list item. Had they won the war, it might not be an option. We might all be speaking German today instead of English. The moment everyone was waiting for, the B-17 plane to fly from Kansas City to Wichita. The World War II plane played an important part in our history. The B-17 played a major role in, the, in World War II in uh, bombing strategic targets and helping win the war. In total, three World War II planes arrived at Wichita's Eisenhower Airport, but they were delayed by three hours from Kansas City due to weather conditions of low clouds. The FAA has rules about visibility and cloud heights, and that's what limits us. Uh, if they're too low, we don't go. So how much is the starting rate to ride in a B-17 plane? Our cheapest seat, I think, is 525 in the waist gunner position, but remember, this is a bucket item list thing to get done. I mean, it's not every day you get to fly in a B-17. Co-pilot and Colonel Scott Williams tells me that there are only about five B-17 planes in the world that are flyable. Live in Wichita, Leon Purvis, Cake News on your side.